That belongs in a museum. He has a very defensive token Druid deck, which is interesting because token Druid deck usually is very aggressive. Yeah, it can be really aggressive, but you know, changing up a couple of cards is a good choice overall for this kind of tournament because many times when the deck list is just set in stone, your opponent can map at the list, like they, they can map what you're doing on specific turns. And if you have those those extra cards, or if you cut some specific cards, maybe you will be able to influence the, the flow of the game in a way that cr will create an advantage for you. Yeah, uh, I can definitely agree with that. I think tech choices, um, some of them include the very powerful ones like Harrison Jones to some of the more obscure ones like Tink Master, Overspark, and Control Warrior. Or Onyxia uh, we have seen some that. weird decks like Dragon Warrior having Deathwing, for example, as well. Yeah, that's also some stuff that you can check in. Depends on what you really think the metagame is uh, lending itself towards. Cypher choosing to go for Chain Raven Idols. Uh, Power of the Wild is very flexible uh, as a card. Oh my goodness, that's the third Raven Idol. Can we do a fourth one? <laughs> you give, me, are give me a fourth Raven Idol. Give it to me. You are Aww. looking for an Innervate Wild Growth. So, well, he has the second Ancient of War. Yeah, and he hasn't seen a sap. He's seen a trade. So it's like a clear indication sap is not there yet in the hand. Yeah, I mean... I wouldn't hate Second Ancient of War. I was kind of thinking Yogg because, uh, you know, Yogg is very flashy. And when you said Yogg, I was like, hell yeah. But uh, it can lose know. the game. Like, you're at seven points of health. It's only seven spells. So we, with Raven Isle, I think it, it makes a lot of sense. Especially if you get a second mulch, maybe. And then can risk not playing Ancient of War. Just play Sylvanas instead. Like, hmm. I love Sivka's power snacking, just squeezing that banana. <laughs> <laughs> devoured that thing. It does help you to like chew things during uh, when you play. Like it's like yeah. you chew, like having a chewing gum. It increases the blood pressure, which uh, which means like you get more oxygen to your brain, so you fatigue uh, slower. Wow. Are you sure that's not just uh, some Reddit science you're reading there? No, it's something being okay. used in like Magic: The Gathering on WoW as well. All right. Well, today I learned, and uh, that that is pretty close. That's six damage to the face directly for Lethal. But uh, he's off by a little bit. Gadgetan could draw something. Yeah, Auctioneer is, uh, is definitely not bad. You have a couple of draws here. It's just Sap, really. Sap is the uh, the key. Argent Squire, no, the really. Yeah, Squire, just, of course, that early game tech for aggro. Ooh, Conceal. Uh, eviscerate the... I eviscerate the 510. And then if you pick up Sap, you still Sap it with the dagger and you kill him. You still have a chance, yeah. Oh, no, you don't have the dagger. That you well can't. Never mind. You'll, yeah, you will not be able to dagger, but uh, if you eviscerate now, you'll still have free mana for a possible sap. Yeah. And then you will be able to... Well, if you put your opponent in one, it is yeah. a, you, you have a good chance to win. Like You don't know there's uh, a healing touch. You didn't believe in... You, you, just, you just didn't put enough faith in the top decks, man. It's a miracle rogue. It's okay. He could still, uh, still conceal here. I still like that play, too. And... Dagger go face. Not Dang, a sap. Double sap. Double sap, though. I mean, he did d dive uh, relatively deep in the deck. But this means you do have to Yogg Saron. Yeah, and there is a strong likelihood that you you die, but I think you're not in a position where you can be complaining. Because uh, healing touch and uh, uh, Sylvanas is definitely not good. This healing touch is playable, by the way. So he will be able to play this healing touch. This is probably a preparation based off that AoE clearing. Yeah, he wants run. to deal with Gadget Sun. Oh, <laughs> uh, drawing cards though. Imagine if he drew three fail rages and just climbed back in the hell. You know. Nuts. That didn't hit Gadget Sun. Swipe is That's pretty good. Good. That means he has to swipe face. Another three. So the board, the, uh, the board is clear. Yeah. And he can heal back up to 14. That was a really good Yoxeron. Yep. And just like that, because Sifka didn't put faith in the the Sap top deck. Uh, this game is going to keep going on. Now, the game's not over yet. Uh, not by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, Sifka's still going to put out seven power of pressure and also put, put a little damage in. And Saps are still, right? If yeah. there's something being played on board. And teachers don't exactly win him the board right now. And a swipe doesn't clear everything. It only clears uh, two minions at best with the hero power. So, I think... I don't know. Which from your side, from you the opposing side. Yeah, I think because you can't kill the 1-1 one one effectively, you might... I don't know, I wouldn't hate wild growth cycling first, because you might really need something like Feral Rage or something else to stay alive. In this mind, I guess he's clearing the 1-1. One one. What does it 
really improve. He's taking that damage anyways. I guess he protects his one, one more. It doesn't, it doesn't match, actually. Oh, okay. Well, game's over. That was pretty <laughs> close one. Yogg'Saron almost stole one from Zifka. But uh, that's kind of the game plan of the token, Druid. If you can't succeed with your initial game plan, you keep yourself relevant with Yogg, which just essentially cleared the board, drew cards. Yeah. Uh, and 